We continue here with Lloyd Bennett, immigration uh, lawyer since 1987. And of course, immigration is obviously a very, very hot topic. What has changed over the past year? Well, really what's changed, Stephanie, since the Trump administration has taken office, um, enforcement has really changed. And we find that the administration has really unleashed the ICE agents, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents, into the communities. Previously, when an individual was, uh, was a suspect, the immigration authorities would only be looking for that individual. And if they went to your house, let's say, and they were looking just for you, they would only detain you. Now, today, what's changed is that their focus has, has expanded. And they, don't, they no longer are just looking for you. What they will do is if they come to your door, they will ask you what your story is, what your status is, and they will ask everybody else in the house what their status is. So they've expanded their focus greatly, and, and what that's done is that's increased the detention rates in New Jersey. And as a result of the increased detention rates, it's increased the deportation rates in New Jersey. So it's been very difficult for a lot of my clients who are undocumented. What I tell many people is that immigration authorities who knock on your door are not like the police. In order for the immigration people to come, immigration authorities to come into your home, you have to invite them in. You have to open the door. The police are different. When the police come with a warrant, they come in regardless of whether you invite them in or not. But if ICE is at your door, do not open the door, do not let them in. You can wave at them through the front door and they cannot come into your house unless you open the door and invite them in. So what we do see is enforcement has, has definitely ratcheted up um, and they've been unleashed. It's sort of like dogs being unleashed and just let loose in the community. Um, it's not as bad as people may think. You know, what you see in the news is not always what's going on. They aren't doing stops on trains. They aren't stopping buses. They are not doing roadside checks. They are still doing targeted enforcement, but the targets have expanded when they find that target. That's what we find. I see. And what about um, DACA? DACA is also, you know, it's been, um it talked about some changes, but from what I see, there will be none. Yeah, so President Trump, as you know, ended the DACA program as we know it. At least he thought he was ending the DACA program. Judges out in California, federal judges, had a different idea and basically said that the administration overreached. So the program, although it stopped for new applicants, the program continues. So if you so have... So what do you mean by continues? Yeah, if you have DACA status, you can reapply, you can renew your application, and you can keep it. You keep your DACA status. So don't get fooled into thinking that the DACA program has ended. It hasn't. You do still need to renew in order to maintain your driver's license, in order to maintain your protection from deportation. And so you are still protected. And you can still work, you can still drive, and you are, again, protected from deportation. Now, moving a little bit um, from an, to another topic, uh, legalization efforts. Now that we have a new president, things have changed, new laws. So over the past two years, legalization efforts have basically just died. Uh, they don't have the support. The Democrats in the House and in the Senate just don't have the support to pass any type of uh, legalization that we talked about under the Obama administration. So as of right now, there's really no talk about legalization. What they are talking about is possibly doing some type of act that would help the DACA students permanently. And with that, they might allow some other people, maybe their parents, to be included. But we really don't know Mm -hmm. the framework of that as we sit here right now. Um, it's all very fluid, but as of right now, it's, there's nothing positive that's coming out of the Trump administration for us and for our clients. I see. Now we hear a lot about the, the wall, this wall that is potentially going to get built. What are your thoughts about that and is it going to make any difference? So the president has tied the DACA students to the wall and he's saying that if he doesn't get the funding to build the wall, He's not going to allow any type of legislation through that would benefit the DACA students, the over 800,000 DACA students. And to be honest with you, Stephanie, the wall really doesn't make a difference to us as immigration attorneys. I mean, we are all for enforcement of the border. We are all for people coming into the United States legally. What we're trying to do is to help the people that are in the United States right now that have already entered. So my personal opinion is the wall is a huge waste of taxpayer dollars that could be better used in the schools, that could be better used on the, on the roads, on our infrastructure. So tying the wall to the students is just not a good idea. Now for those watching, how can they contact you? So you can contact me at my website phone number, which is 800-909-8129. And the phone number again is displayed on my website. I also have contact forms on my website. My phones are manned 24-7. If our office is closed, the phones are answered by an answering service. 
that will relay the messages to us immediately and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Well, thank you, Mr. Bennett. We're going to continue to talk about many different topics as we continue with this interview. Thank you, Stephanie.